today. The Tacoma gets some new speakers and some sound deadening. Welcome back everyone and happy holidays. In today's video, I'm going to be installing some new speakers on my 2019 TRD Off-Road Tacoma. Now my truck came with the JBL package, which is pretty good. However, I think we can do a lot better. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing these Memphis speakers. On the fronts, we're going to be doing these X690s from Hertz. And then in the rears, we'll be doing the X165s, also Hertz, and then for our dash, we're going to be doing the Memphis PRX 27s. And then also to make the sound even better and to improve essentially the complete like ride quality of the truck, I'm also going to be using some sound deadening on the front and rear doors. Now I decided to go with the kill mat in a 50 mil. And quite honestly, just doing this will make the truck drive a lot nicer, but I figure since I'm pulling door panels off, may as well replace the speakers and trying to get just a little bit better sound output as well. Now, I ended up getting the speakers through crushfill.com. The reason for it is they have a pretty amazing website to where you just put in your vehicle filter. It tells you exactly what you need. One nice thing about this is that you also get all the installation hardware and kits with the speakers that will actually work on the Tacoma. So this should make the install really easy. For the sound deadening, I just went to Amazon. I'll drop a link below. Also, one thing to keep in mind, if you guys do end up buying some sound deadening, make sure you guys get yourself a little roller. It'll make life a lot easier, especially once you apply the sound deadening, it doesn't actually activate until you press it down and pop the bubbles out. This will save you a lot of hassle. Now for this install, I'm going to give myself about four hours to do both the fronts and the rear doors. With the sound deadening and everything, I'm just not sure how long it's gonna take me, so we'll just account for about four hours. Now for tools, all we're gonna need is a 10 millimeter socket, a Phillips screwdriver, we're also going to need this little tool right here and then also a panel removal tool. That's gonna to make life a lot easier. Now, before we get into the install, I just wanna mention that this is going to be a fairly long video as I'm going to be doing the sound deadening and the speakers. So what I'll do is I'll break the video down and I'll throw some timestamps below if you guys wanna just skip ahead. Essentially, we'll do the front doors first, then the rears. And also, depending if I have enough sound deadening, I might also do the floorboard in another video, but we'll keep that for another time. Anyway, let's get going with the install. Alrighty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off this door panel. In order to do that, we need to remove a screw that's behind this little plastic here. There's another screw in here. And then also we have to pop off this clip. And aside from that, there's just a bunch of clips on the edge of the door panel. We just have to pop them off and then this guy will come off. And then we'll also have to disconnect the little window switches. Now the first thing we're gonna do is remove this screw here. In order to do that, there's a little piece of carpet right here. We're gonna pull that off and then unscrew the screw. Next up, just remove the Phillips screw. Next up, what we want to do is remove this little plastic piece right here. To do that, we'll use my little panel removal tool. We we'll just go in here and we're gonna pop it out like that. And pull it out. And then next we have to remove this screw right here. Now that we have the screw out, next we're gonna get this little push clip out. With these clips, you just essentially push them in and they'll just pop right out. Now that we have the screws and the clip out, we're gonna go ahead and remove this little panel right here and disconnect the little switches. Again, panel removal tool. I'm just gonna start at the edge right here. Now that we have this up, we're gonna disconnect these two plugs. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, next up, we're gonna pop the door panel off the door itself, and I'm just gonna start in the corner here. <clears throat> and all I'm gonna do here is get my panel removal tool underneath, try and find a clip. Once we found a clip, I'm just gonna try and pop it off. Just pull it straight out. There we go. And then once I do that, we'll just go around and pull the rest of them out. Now, same thing, take your panel removal tool up here, because this is a two-piece. Just get it in here, pop it off. Next up, we're just gonna pull this guy up. Now we need to remove the door handle here. 
Essentially, all we have to do from the back side is just pull it straight out. And I will try to catch that on camera. There we go. Put this guy to the side. Next up, we're just gonna disconnect the speaker here. Next up, we're just gonna remove these 10 millimeter molds to pull the speaker off. Next up, we're just gonna pop the speaker off. Now, if you're just replacing the speakers at this point, you can just reinstall your new speaker, plug it in and put the door panel back on. Since we are going to be doing the sound dampening in here, I'm going to remove this plastic right here along with these little panels so that we can get our sound dampening in there. So let's do that next. Now with this plastic here, you could use a heat gun and just kind of make this a little bit softer to pull this off. I'm going to try and be careful not to rip this as I'm going to reattach this. So let's do that real fast. We just need access to this guy and this guy. This guy should just pop straight out. Get it out of the way. Now this bad boy does have these two clips in here. I'm just gonna pop this one off and then that way we'll just be able to slide this down. I'm not gonna remove it all the way. Actually, I can probably just pull this out. There we go. Next up, we're gonna get some alcohol and we're gonna clean the inside of the doors right here. So that way the sound deadening will stick to this nicely. So do that real quick. Next up, we're gonna install the sound deadening. Essentially, these guys come in 16 inch by 10 inch pieces. Um, I've got this one cut in half. Essentially, all we're gonna do is remove the sticky backing and stick it on to the door here, right here on the inside. Essentially, try to get an even coverage. And then once you have this guy you know, laid down, you have to use a little roller to essentially pop these little guys right here to activate the actual sound deadening. Now this is a pretty tight fit as you guys can see, so I might not be able to catch the footage on this. So we'll just go through. Just remember, take your time, place this down evenly as good as you can, get as much coverage as you can. Once we do the inside, I am also going to do the outside panel right here as well. So let's do the inside real quick. Okay, now that I have the kill mat, on the inside of the door, got pretty good coverage all around. So next up, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move these panels back in. Pop that guy in there. Same with you. Okay, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put some of the kill mat on this side of the panel as well. I'm not sure if it's gonna do anything. Um, if you guys know any sound guys and you guys are watching this, let me know in the comments if that's actually gonna help, but I'm just gonna throw some panels here and here just to hope that it's gonna, you know, dent the sound even more. So let's do that real quick. Next up, we're just gonna reattach this little plastic piece. Okay, next up, we'll install the speakers. Okay, next up, we're gonna prepare the speakers for installation. These are universal speakers. However, the crutch fill kit comes with the full installation kit, including the little mounting bracket, wiring, and all the hardware. So let's prepare that first. First up, we'll do the wiring. So we're just gonna take the crutch fill kit, little adapter, plug it in. Black is your ground. Next up, we're gonna attach the speaker to the little mounting bracket. Essentially goes in like so. Now, however, I also bought this thing right here. I think it's extra insulation. This was just recommended in the cards and I said, what the hell, why not? So let's do it. So essentially this guy goes in like so. Speaker goes in like there. Also one thing to note that on the factory speakers, this plug is actually on the outside right here. On this one's gonna be on the inside, so what we'll need to do is cut cut a piece right here, and this wire will essentially sit like so when we install on the truck. So, okay, let's get the speaker on the bracket, and then we'll throw it onto the truck.
All right, there we have it. Got the speaker attached to the little bracket. Let's throw this thing into the truck. Perfect. Now that we have the speaker onto the little bracket, we have our little sound deadening boom box, whatever it's called. Let's reinstall the speaker onto the door. Same process as taking it off. Essentially, we're just going to pop it in and use the four 10 millimeter bolts. So let's do that real quick. Okay, then we're just going to plug this guy in. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> now we're ready to put the panel back on. Okay, first up, we're going to reinstall the door handle. Essentially, just pop it in like so and just push it in. There we go. Next up, we're going to start at the top. Slide it down. Once we have this guy here in position, we know we're clear. We're just going to start reattaching all these guys. Next up, we're going to hook this back up. Okay. Then all we do here is just pop it back in. Next up, we're going to put these screws back in. Then pop the plastic back in, just goes in like so, just push it in, I'm going to throw this screw back in, throw this guy up here, and this just clips in, put your carpet back in and you're all done. This door is complete. Okay, so now we have the front door done, next we're going to do the rear. Before we do that, let me show you guys the sound difference here. As you guys can hear, this one's a lot more hollow. So let's fix that. Process for the rear panel is about the same. Pop out this clip, screw back here, screw down here. We're gonna take them out. And then again, we're just gonna pull this panel off and go from there. The first step, we'll do this clip right here. Next step, we're just gonna pop this plastic off right here. Remove the little carpet. Remove the two Phillips screws. Next up, we're gonna pop this little panel off for the window switch. Here we just have one plug to remove. Comes off easily. Next up, we're gonna find the clips again and just pull them off. Okay, once we have this guy off, now this and this will come out in, as one piece, even though it's two separate pieces. So we're just gonna pull it up. Next up, just like the front door handle, just push it out, comes off easily. Put this to the side. Next up, unplug the speaker. And we're gonna remove it by removing these four 10 millimeter bolts, just like the front. It's actually three millimeter bolts, not four. Pull the speaker out. Now I am going to be doing the sound deadening in here as well. So again, we're gonna pull off this little plastic film. Carefully, of course, as we're going to be reapplying it. Next up with alcohol, we'll go through and clean the inside of the door attach our kill mat. I'll do that real quick and we'll see you in a second. Okay, perfect. I've got my sound deadening on, on the inside and I put some on the outside on the back door as well. Next up, we're gonna reinstall the speakers. Just like on the front, take your speaker, attach it to the little bracket your harness, and let's reinstall it onto the truck. Perfect. Next up, let's hook it up. Now we can reattach the door panel. Again, first thing we're gonna do is slide the door handle back in. Let's get it back on. There we 
go. Looks pretty good. Let's reattach the clips. Let's reattach this little window switch. Oh, also, as you can see, I got all cut up. So be careful when you're doing your little kill mat. Um, wear gloves. I didn't, and I just got cut up on some of the door panels. Finally, reattach the screws. And there we have it for the install. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what happened with the camera or the memory card, but it's a loss of footage of doing the dash speakers. I should have checked it, but I didn't. So. But the dash speakers are pretty straightforward. I mean, you just pull out the OEM ones. There's two 10 millimeter bolts and throw the new ones in. Um, there was a little harness that was included. So I just used that from Crutchfield. As far as the review on the speakers, I think they're better. I'm not quite sure. I still have to mess with the settings. So my settings on my OEM head unit are pretty much what I had before. So I'll throw up a picture of that right now. If there is any sound guys watching this um, and you have some feedback on how to set up the head factory head unit for these speakers, let me know. I would appreciate that. Aside from that, as far as the sound deadening on the truck, I mean, it definitely, definitely works. Um, you know, just doing that alone, I'm very happy. The one thing I will say, though, is that now that I have the doors essentially insulated, I can hear a lot of noise coming through the back right here, so I am going to have to pull the seats out and sound deaden that as well in the future video. Well, anyway, I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, drop me a like below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next time. See ya.